What's up, fanboys and fangirls? Welcome back to another What the Fanboy commentary. Should I try my radio voice for this? <laughs> no. Don't worry, I won't. Please don't. don't. Anyway, I'm Luke. <laughs> I'm Brett. I'm Tyler. We're here to watch a movie with you. <clears throat> what are we watching, Brett? I'm you excited. Tell what we're watching? This is um, an Oscar favorite for this year for a number. We get nominated for seven or eight. Eight awards. I think. Thought it was seven. Somewhere in that window. Let's just round up to ten. Let's just all of them. It got nominated for all of them. <laughs> uh, Black Panther. Yeah. So it came out like just about a year ago exactly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, from when we were yep. filming this it or did. recording this. And yep. it's going to be in theaters again. Yeah. <laughs> Starting Friday. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, free at select AMC's. That's right. So uh, download this on your phone. <laughs> Pop in an earbud and <laughs> watch it with us in the theaters. That'd be cool. Dude, that'd be awesome. If you do that, let us know. I like that idea. If not, just watch it at home and listen to us. Yeah. Because that's... Uh, or don't watch it at all and just listen to us. Yeah. And hear, hear what we say. Or what we don't say. Yes. Mouth hurts. Had a dentist appointment today. <laughs> yeah, Tyler. Way gonna, to be a champ, man. Gonna try to be involved. It's okay, but just... You need somewhere to kiss it and make it butter. For full disclosure, this is my second favorite Marvel movie. So, I don't. I didn't really want to miss this. I think yeah. it's, I think it's top, uh, top five for me. It's number two for me. There's so Winter many Soldier. freaking Marvel movies these days. It's my number two currently, but I need to see Infinity War again. It's number three for me. There we go. Your number two is Avengers? Yes, it is. Boom, nailed it. Is all of our number one Winter Soldier? Yeah, yeah absolutely. We'll have to do that And your number four was Doctor Strange, Brett. You know me so well. Doctor Strange was my number six, I think. How do we agree on so many MCU things, but outside of the MCU, we disagree on everything? We don't disagree on everything. <laughs> we both loved Blade Runner. This we is true. We both loved Annihilation. This is true. We both loved The, the Last Force Jedi. Awakens. <laughs> Oh, no one wants to hear us quabble about Star Wars. Not we yet, anyway. We should watch this movie. Yeah, let's watch it. Let's get it rolling. All right. It was so, just announced today that Michael B. Jordan will be returning for Black Panther 2. That doesn't make sense to me. Flashback. Or he's in the spirit world. Uh, he took the, the pill. Took the blue pill. Clever. <laughs> clever he's, way he's in the astral back plane in. because yeah. he, was a, he was technically a Black Panther. So he's... In the astral plane, because and he's an ancestor. Of... We should talk about this during the movie. Yeah, sorry. That's fine. We're gonna. I'm gonna count us down. I was ready? talking about this at work today. Yep. Three, two, one. Play. Hit that play button, and and play it again. watch it <laughs> with us. FBI warning. Doing audio time codes. Don't, Is that a? Don't do bad things. Does the FBI warning actually work? I mean, does it? It never scared me. I didn't download things illegally more as like just a moral position. No comment. <laughs> Boy. Boy. So I heard something about this actually that this movie would have been better if if this intro wouldn't have been in there. Because it tells you I mean, the problem also like in the marketing, you know that Wakanda's like super futuristic. Right. It's like, what if you would have not known that? Mmm. What if so it And then like only there? only the nerds would have known that Wakanda's this crazy sci fi place. Yeah. In the middle of Africa. But instead they right off the bat they're like, We developed the greatest technology on Earth. Like, I oh. love this little intro though. Yeah. Like, it's awesome. Stylistically it's super cool. It's okay. really cool. It's also really interesting. This is not the first Marvel movie, but I think it's the one that does it the most, which is blend um, some sort of mystical or spiritual aspect mm -hmm. into the universe as a whole. Um, I don't think any other Marvel movie goes as deep as this one does. Yeah. Obviously, Doctor Strange has lots of mystical and magic, but this is very a very spiritual realm. Um, I'd say the only other one that realm. goes into spiritual... And it's kind of a, I don't know, I don't know if it counts, it would be Thor, because they're, they are the gods. 
It's like sure. the other side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it's it, yeah, it's different. I'd be interested in the sequel if they go into like Bossed and stuff a little more. Mm-hmm. Which is the, the Panther God. The pa- I'm yeah. pretty sure that's right anyway. Starting off from movie in Oakland. I remember really liking this scene in theaters. I remember watching this scene in theaters and going, oh, this doesn't really matter. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's interesting, st- <clears throat> starting the movie, and you have this whole introduction about Wakanda, and then you start the movie with a perspective that's very much outside of Wakanda. Mm-hmm. These are the people who have either been banished or chosen to leave Mm-hmm. But like, I didn't think that basketball group. I was like, I don't know. That's just a little open, so he can kind of get some flavor. Yeah, they didn't give a. I didn't. No, they said ninety two. They did give a year. Culture move. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> just a little bit. They should have digitally de-aged Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> to a four-year-old, yeah. or an eight-year-old. <clears throat> hey, someday they will. He's playing you like a sap. <laughs> Dude, if one of those warriors walked up to me, I would be so scared. I'd just poop myself. The, the spear alone. <laughs> like, nothing's got to be scarier than some lady holding a spear. <laughs> I like this, that Black Panther suit a lot. I like mm. his... His sash that he has on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just really like the gold accent on the Black Panther outfit. Mm -hmm. I just think it looks... Like, later on, you see it again. I just think it looks so cool. Out of all the Black Panther suits in the MCU so far, the worst one is his newest one. The one in this movie? Yeah. Agreed. There's just, like, nothing on it. The best one is Civil Civil War. Civil War. Civil War Black Panther suit looks so great. I do appreciate that they tried to change it, though. I yeah. do. And they added some really cool technology to yeah. it. Mm-hmm. I just would, think, like, there's there's no design on it, which yeah. makes it less fun. Yes, Andy Serkis. No. This is 92. Mm-hmm. Here's my question. This happened in 92. Yup. Again, it, in what, 2012, 2013, he de- Ulysses Claw steals a bunch of vibranium again mm-hmm. in um, the second Avengers movie, Voltron. Voltron. Like, I almost said Voltron. <laughs> these guys, these guys are like crazy. Like, how have they not caught him? He's not that good of a arms dealer, right? Yeah, he is. <laughs> He's I mean, it best. took the Avengers, like, five minutes to find him. But it can't take Wakandans with all their... Maybe they did catch him, but he got away. He got away. Possible, I suppose. I like this twist. They played it off very well, like, just the relationship, like, mm-hmm. all of a sudden, oh, no, he, like, he's a Wakandan and he's... On the, like, he's the he's, spy. He's the spy. The informant. Can't double cross, double cross. <laughs> I wonder if he knew about Wakanda already. Uh, I think he did. I think they addressed that later. Okay. Eric? Yeah. Yeah. Or if this was like, he's like, yo, I just saw a spaceship fly off. And he's like... That was my bro. Oh, you know what? That's probably... Well, no. Yeah, he he already knew by then. Okay. He just never been exposed to it. Yeah, he had just never actually seen it. Right. Remember, 
He's later. like, oh, my dad is telling the truth. Yeah, remember yeah, yeah. later they have that, like when he goes to the astral plane, yep. he remembers when his dad was telling him about Wakanda. Mm-hmm. So I'm all for like studio logos. How do we feel about Marvel Studios keeps getting longer and longer <laughs> with its Doesn't logo? Doesn't bother me. <laughs> also, I, think, I, think I love that it. font. <laughs> The, the font, font for so all dope. of the sub- Can we get a t-shirt with that font? Oh. I could probably make something. That'd be Thank super you. cool. It's the same kind of like design that's on his suit, too. Mm-hmm. Which is awesome. Just the whole design of the Wakandan aesthetic is so cool. It's such a great blend of traditional, like... African designs with a very futuristic twist. Mm-hmm. I love it. That I remember, old world meets the new world. I remember when I realized that was Michonne. Like, oh yeah, twenty minutes into the movie, <laughs> and I was like, "What? Girl's too good for The Walking Dead." I was. That's. I was gonna say like she's so Hold good. That. Now, this stuff just blows my mind. Where you can pick up. I think it's crazy how, like, this movie has effects like that. Like this right here. <laughs> but then it also has the, the rhinos. The, rhinos. <laughs> the freaking rhinos. It's like, some of it looks so, so good. good. And some of it's like, ee. Yeah. Hey, not, that it, not that it ruins the movie. No. Ooh, yeah. That's, this is one of my favorite shots. Just that... I never freeze. Following him down the throw. Oh. And then, kind of like what I was saying before, mm-hmm. you have the opening scene where he tells. You don't, you like, he, uh, the informant is revealed or whatever. And then it's like, present day. And then you show up to these guys in the woods. And you just find the Black Panther, Ooh. and then boom, you go into Wakanda future, and it's like what? That'd be a crazy. That would be. Cool. It would have added a pretty cool shock value for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Could you imagine living in a world as one of these guys where superheroes existed? <laughs> Why like, do you even like, try? What part of you thinks that this is gonna work out? Yeah. I mean, maybe you think, oh, that's the Wakandan Black Panther. He's in Wakanda. Kind of like if you live in... Well, so they, they've obviously... They seem to have heard the legend of Black Panther, right? But even at the end, after the rescue... He's more of a secret still? They're like, you know, shh, don't... You will not speak of this. Mm. Like, is Wakanda more or less still like a myth? Like Atlantis is? I think the real Wakanda is is a myth. myth. But, like, people, like, they have the people on the outside that are, like, herding the goats and everything. Sure. So they're like, oh, they're Wakandans. Like me. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Right, really, they have. The the country of Wakanda still exists, but. Superheroes and (laughs) giant rhinos. Right. (laughs) <laughs> so ridiculous that he could just stand there and walk you down while you're shooting at him. So these, this is, I'll introduce one of my critiques of this movie. Do it. Is uh, the action. For the most part, it's good, but I feel like it could have been better. Could have been way better. Um, like, there's the tracking shot in the casino. I would have liked to have seen a hard-hitting action tracking shot. Not... Super long, like the casino scene, mm-hmm. but just like hand to hand combat. So, like in the Winter Soldier, there's the scene on the on the freeway. Road. Yeah, yeah. That they're just like hitting See, and punching. It's just like Ugh. I'm with you on that. I feel like with a character like Black Panther, the hand to hand could have been so good. Yeah, or but so, everything so is much punch better. cut away. Yeah, punch yeah. cut away. And yeah, it could have been a lot better. And then just kind of. In general of the character, it's hard to be worried about a guy in a bulletproof suit. suit. Yeah, it's the it's the problem they have with Iron Man 
that DC has with Superman. Superman. It's like uh -huh. when when you guy got a guy who can just stand there and take bullets. Like when he gets in a fist fight, I'm never worried. Like at the end, it's these two guys in impenetrable suits that are fighting each other, mm -hmm. and then like they kind of deal with that with the train. But yeah. it's like, I mean, what's really gonna happen? Yeah. Oh, excuse me, my hiccups. The other funny part is if you punch him enough times, he's just going to use that kinetic energy to blow you up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, punch him five times on the sixth one. Yeah. <laughs> my hand. Oh my gosh, yes. This song. <sighs> Luke, do you remember in this the music, theaters when this started? I was just going nuts. Dude, yeah. I think I almost cried. <laughs> but just from listening to the soundtrack. It's like, this is so beautiful. Mm -hmm. This never gets old. I listened to this movie soundtrack for like months Dude, after yeah. this. I think I listened to this one a lot and then off and on until Mission Impossible soundtrack came out. I was just like, oh mm. my gosh. Yeah. Fun fact, Spotify releases your top songs from oh, 2018 like the year. every year. And this song was in my top 20 most played songs. <laughs> it's awesome. You would hear like all these DJs and rock songs, and then in the middle of it, yeah. Wakanda. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so dope. Yeah, like this would have awesome. been. That would have been a crazy reveal, but it's it's so hard to do. Like, yeah. And then how do you keep all that out of the marketing? So I mean. Yeah, because this shot was in the marketing. Yeah. Of them going through the force field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The soundtrack, though, seriously, it gets me so jacked up. Waterfall fight? I feel like I can take on the world. Right here. <laughs> Sorry. We may have been harping on his suit earlier, but the, the costume designs in this movie are phenomenal. So good. Thank you. Your Thank you. Like just look at even just the the, the spectrum detail. of yeah. of costume styles in this scene alone. What blows mm -hmm. me away about this movie, and it works. Kind of ironic is the the so many different colors. Mm hmm. Like it's so colorful. <laughs> Who's your guys' favorite side character? Not ca okay. I'll, Not I'm gonna take um, Black Panther and. Um, Eric Killmonger off the table. Sure, After sure. Them, who's the who's the best? Character? Oh, <laughs> I love his reaction in the background yeah. when she flips him off. He's like, <gasps> <laughs> I mean, sure, he brings a lot to the table. Yeah. Um, what is I can't think of his name. Agent. Agent Frost. What is it? Agent Beeman. No, Bilbo Baggins. Yeah, it's Bilbo. <laughs> Martin, <laughs> Martin Freeman. Yeah. <laughs> My, mine is Claw. I love Claw. So I was going to mention Claw, too. They've got such a good dynamic uh, side character, supporting yeah. characters in this movie. It's a shame that they, spoiler alert, kill off both of their villains. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I really like Bilbo in this movie, though. Yeah. He does, he, I just think he does a really good job. He wasn't in uh, I, Infinity but, War at all, right? No. No. But I agree with you guys. Game at all. All, the whole supporting cast is really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody's great. And what a great so back to the what we're seeing on screen, like this introduction to Michael B. Jordan's character Eric Killmonger. Like holy crap! Mm -hmm. He just he steals the scene anytime he's in frame. He steals the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For real. <laughs> I think he's reaching that point in his career where he he is that guy. Like, you cast him, and you're like, he's not the star, he will be. And mm -hmm. 
he he is gaining the ability to dictate his role in movies, and I think that's don't awesome. trip. I'm gonna take it off your hands, <laughs> it's like so casually. Don't worry, I'm gonna steal from it. <laughs> And Killmonger's theme is my favorite part of the soundtrack. Now it's like this really subtle, kind of creepy theme, and then it goes into a trap beat. It's like, yeah. it's like oh yeah. Some uh, good, t uh, well timed poisoning there. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, that was her job. That's true. She was right there. She had one job, and she nailed it. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. <laughs> oh. One shot. <laughs> That's why they've never caught him. He knows what he's doing. He yeah. Does. He's not just an arms dealer. I think his hand looks hilarious too. That's maybe the one thing about his character design I don't like is his hand. Mm -hmm. It's not awful, but I don't like later when it like splits open and like <laughs> a gun comes out of it it makes sense but... but yeah i mean that's what it is in the comics except for like it splits down the middle yeah which i just think is not what you'd expect like i think a lot of people just expected it to like come out of the wrist <laughs> or something but then like it splits open and you're like <laughs> i just think like this mask is dope I, just, I love his line. <laughs> I'm just feeling it. Um, I think his hand just looks like it feels funny, like mm -hmm. the material. Mm -hmm. And I want to touch it, but I don't. Well, like, it's kind of like that's all I can like think a, about when I see it. Like right, now, he's got like a latex glove. It just kind of looks like he's wearing a latex glove. Mm -hmm. I love this scene too, and you get to see all the different tribes and stuff. Yeah, I think it's really cool. Once again, we see all the crazy awesome costumes yeah. that they made mm -hmm. for this movie. So dope. It's awesome. I drained that waterfall. What an expensive project just so you can have Fights. Fights on the side uh, of it. They're the richest country in the world. I don't I think they had any problem paying for that. I'm just saying. Like, that's like legitimately like a technological wonder. Yeah. Like, bigger than any current, I don't know, infrastructure project we've, not really, but. Man, we've gone to the moon. Hmm. I'm in the 60s. <laughs> Diverting all of that water. This. This scene alone wins the Oscar for costume. Yep. Amazing. This is maybe, maybe one of my least favorite shots, actually. Really? Why? I just feel like if it, it's one of those, like... It feels out of place. It feels CG. Yeah. Like we were talking about earlier, like we said, like some things in this movie look so good, and then there's like little things here and there. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Maybe just because there's so many people. I don't. I don't know. I would just. See, and that just feels like it's th Jeez. that right there. Like I feels like a shot on a soundstage, which it was, but. I just would be so mad if oh, I had I to be at the top of the waterfall and watch. Man. 
<laughs> like when you go to a game, it's like, oh, we're in the nosebleed. Like, at least I'm there, though. <laughs> I was at that game in the back row. Like, I was at the waterfall fight. It Wait, was at like the very ants. top of the waterfall. If no one was going to challenge him, would he have had to have sacrificed the uh, power, the strength of the Black Panther? And you just would have gotten it back. I know, but then what's the point? Like, why don't you ask first? Sorry, I'd be a nitpicky just so we have things to talk about. This movie's so good. <laughs> this movie's great, but I agree. I never, That is something that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Why wouldn't you strip it like right before the fight? Right, right. I'm going to defend it and say so we can get used to the effects for a little bit. I guess. I was going to say so he could go back to the astral plane later to be welcomed as the true Black Panther. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, just, like, for taking it away. Like, they take it away before, so he can be like, oh, man, that was weird. I'm glad I have a minute to kind of reconnect with my body mm -hmm. now that I don't have superpowers. I can, I can track with that. I don't even really buy my own argument, but... Also... <laughs> Part of me wishes she would have sold it a little bit longer and actually went out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Their entry is dope. I really like yeah. this. It reminds me of like a mu music video. Uh -huh. Like when they're coming out of the cave. I love Winston Duke is... M'Baku. M'Baku. How crazy if they would have done M'Baku like he is in the comics. Oh, well, tell me about him. I haven't... I don't... He's a giant gorilla, isn't he? Um, no, but he's giant. He's called Manape. I don't think he's an actual gorilla. I thought he was. Maybe he is. I don't know. I don't, I, I honestly don't know too much. He's huge, though. Um, yeah. Like, monstrous. But I do think Winston Duke absolutely crushes this movie, like, this role. Mm -hmm. He's so good. And I love that everybody's child. scared of them. Yeah. Like, they're terrified of them. Yeah. They have a very interesting relationship with the other tribes, which... It's explained in that opener. It is, but, it yeah. is. But it's like, why would they even go up? I mean, I guess if they have a chance at taking the throne. Yeah. But it seems like they're so uh, divorced from the rest of the tribes that I'm surprised they even got an invite. <laughs> yeah. But if you're talking tradition, so what would really happen tradition, if sense. he rejects the challenge? Does he just give over the title of Black Panther? I think so, yeah. I think M'Baku would just be, be king. I'm really glad, I like though, the that masks. Yeah, M'Baku isn't really a villain in yeah. the MCU mm -hmm. like he is in the comics. He's, like, he's, I guess, an antagonist at the beginning, but, mm -hmm. like, at the end of this movie and then in Endgame, yeah, they just, they just get along. Yep. Especially, like, since Endgame is two years later or so. It's just a... Mm -hmm. uh, you mean Infinity War? It's, yeah, sorry. Infinity War. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting knew... excited. <laughs> I view M'Baku's role as, like, in this moment, like, a guy who just really cares about his nation and doesn't yeah. want it to fall into the wrong hands. Yeah. Well, what's, you know, really great about his performance and how they've written his character is, in almost any other movie, this would be a throwaway character. This is just a moment for, mm -hmm. um, uh, Black Panther, gosh, <laughs> to... To overcome a challenge, right? Mm -hmm. But Ooh, nice. they've made M'Baku such a distinct character with motivations and relationship, and he comes back later. It's dynamic in a way that most other films would just throw him away. Yeah, it makes it makes the moments with M'Baku later in the movie more, more impactful. Yeah. I would agree with that. But ironically watching this now after Luke mentions the punch and cutaway thing it's all I can notice mm. it's like all I can see yeah and like these fights are the moments where they could have had their like really hard hitting 
like action moments. Ouch. Ah. <laughs> that would hurt. And I, that surprises me too because Kugler did Creed. I know that's that's what I'm saying. Like you would think he would have just easily made these scenes. Yeah. But I mean it still looks good. Yeah, no it does. It's just a, a missed opportunity it's, it's more just, than it's yeah. a critique. Yeah, it's just you know? kind of us being oh it could have been this. Facetious. Yeah, when, <laughs> when really it doesn't need to be. No. It's fine the way it is. I think you have a good... Yeah, I mean... We'll go on it for... I'll go on it for one more sentence. This is, like, the moment when you have both of them out of their suits. They don't have powers. Like, mm -hmm. you can really make... I mean, they're bloodied up. So, they, I mean, there's some physicalness there, but you could really embrace that, like... What does an impact mean to someone who's unprotected? Yeah. Yeah. And you and you can make the audience feel it. Mm-hmm. Um... Like you did Michael B. Jordan in Creed. Yeah. Like you felt it for him. Like You're like, man, like he's getting the crap kicked out of him right now. <laughs> my body just hurts when I watch those movies. <laughs> and I, I think it's... And like, like, he gets stabbed. What did I say? I went, ow. Yeah. I react. He's going to walk it off now, though. Actual pain. Boy, he's going to get a superpower. It looks like he just has like a little <laughs> bit of blood smeared on his chest, though. Kind of an oversight on PG thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. Zuri, now you have blood on your outfit. <laughs> Zuri, please, I'm very hungry. <laughs> Can I have my powers back now? <laughs> I'd, I'd really like to heal. Go put me in that warm sand real fast. Wakanda forever. I should have worn my Black Panther shirt tonight. Doesn't matter. No one can see it. Any? Yeah, nobody can see it, but still. I bet laying in the warm sand would be cool, but like when they cover you up, I'd be like freaking out. <laughs> this is a very a slightly off-topic comment here. I'm gonna make. I just I watched a video of um, somewhere in the Middle East where they make coffee using hot sand. Like that's how they heat their coffee. That's crazy. I know, right? I don't even like coffee. <laughs> he looks like he's in a lot of pain. He's like... <laughs> so if anybody takes the heart-shaped herb, they become a superhero? It has to... If they so, have to survive the... Yeah, they have to survive this. Oh, okay. Like, they might not wake up, I think. Like, I think he can stay in the ancestral plane. And then he'd just be dead. <laughs> he just... Yeah. <laughs> I just bury him and leave him. Now, I do have a little bit of a fear of being buried alive. So this... That's what I'm saying. This would have made me super uncomfortable. Yeah. Ugh. So you're not a fan of the Ryan Reynolds flick? Buried? Buried. Um, but there's, like, he's not... He's in a box. Oh, you mean just straight I buried? I just mean straight buried. So like, if you go to the beach like, somebody's zero. like, let's bury you. Yeah, like, no. Heck no. Heck no. <laughs> Ain't, ain't no way. So you would it. never buy it on his face. Oh lord. So you would never buy a weighted blanket. Blankets are different. Would you cover yourself head to toe in a weighted blanket? Probably not. How does this white outfit not do? <laughs> <laughs> the power of CGI, man. Maybe it's made out of the same stuff that the um, astronaut outfits are made out of. In fact, if you see those movies over, uh, like a movie where they're wearing those suits and mm -hmm. they're dirty, it's not what happens. Hmm. So he's wearing an astronaut suit. Yes. He's currently on the moon. <laughs> oh, no, this is definitely like Terraform <laughs> Mars, right? Yes. Wakandan space suits look like that. <laughs> I want to know who the other Panthers are. Oh, Grandpa? I'm sure, and I'm sure Grandma. there's a... Uh, we could find out. If you know... Leave it in the leave the uh, yeah. Let us know. Let us know in the comments or tweet at us at what the fanboy there plugged it. We good. Nice. These the astral plane or ancestral plane scenes are so beautiful. They mm -hmm. really are, and they're great. Like you're, for you're me, King for Simba. me the 
the movie doesn't really start until this point. Dun, yeah. Dun, dun, and it doesn't end until... Um, I mean, the end. But the the his arc starts here and ends when he come, returns. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it's just conclusion after that. I, I love... But I think they're good, great bookends for yeah. the meat of the story. I love when he comes back to challenge yeah. his dad. Yep. He's like, you are wrong! Yeah, I it's love like, it. Oh, oh. Oh, dang. He's going to fight Michael B. Jordan in the ancestral plane. In the second. I don't even know if that's a thing. Super but. weird. I don't even. I don't know if that's possible. I don't know how, if that did the thing, but no one can see it. But I am smiling because I'm just imagining <laughs> them like, not not full venom, but like, like transforming into panthers, hitting, <laughs> transforming back into people. Well, he'd probably become a leopard. Well, he, that's what I'm saying. Or yeah, he was a leopard. He wore the leopard the leopard outfit. suit. Yeah. Or I guess he that could be like that could be a really cool. I'm pretty sure Black Panther is a leopard. Okay, yeah. so he would be a normal leopard as opposed to the black, the leopard, black leopard, which is a panther. Panther. <laughs> hey, he did it, and he's healed. Thank goodness. I don't know. This movie would be really short. It would be. Then you just had. Blood on him the whole movie. <laughs> the rain. The rain all, oh, every once in a while, he's just like, ah, my shoulder. Ah, I'm sorry, got stabbed. <laughs> I, I, really I want to see we... more of Wakanda. Thank you. Exactly what I was gonna say. It, it bothers me. We need me. more of this. Yeah, absolutely. It's such a cool. That dude's lip ring is insane. It is crazy. Like, I wish they would have spent more time. Like, and maybe we'll get this in the sequel, but like maybe somebody infiltrates Wakanda, mm-hmm. and it takes the movie takes place on the streets of Wakanda rather than going outside, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, or just hanging out in the Capitol building. Yeah, that's how I am with Aquaman two and the Wonder Woman sequels. Pretty much, like I really enjoyed being in Asgard in the Thor movies. Mm-hmm. I like. I want to be in their world, mm. not mine. Yeah. Sure. So I'm hoping. For well, I think as soon as, as well. you get a, a initial movie out there and characters are established, you yeah. can get away with that. Whereas I think Plus, movie producers yeah. are generally afraid of like they don't know who what these characters like the are, they don't know who the world is, and they need something that ties you into yeah. the movie. That's why. Um, Oh, I can't even think of the movie I'm, I was going to reference there. Terminator 2. No. Ready Player One went for it and it worked. Oh, I'm, that, that thing is full of references to our own world. <laughs> <laughs> like, Wasabi. You may have been in a completely different place with unknown people, but yeah. it was still super familiar. Oh, I'm thinking of like Jurassic, like Jurassic World, Jurassic Park movies. Like, really, what all we really want are dinosaur movies, but people aren't interested in just dinosaurs. Aren't character like yeah. you need a you can, person you, you, can have have a, a you have to plot. have a relational. The audience has to be able to. I don't anyways. know, man. Land Before Time is where it's at. <laughs> those I love dinosaur stock. <laughs> that is a great. So movie. make when so make a live action spoilers, land before... but when Littlefoot's parents. Her mom dies in the first one. I was like, "You've got to be kidding me! I'm <laughs> poor, man." <laughs> Bossed. We're in trouble. They can combine their. That is some intelligent artificial intelligence. They can combine their holograms it's group, into one. Group FaceTime. <laughs> Wakabi wasabi. <laughs> so they use the same actor to walk the streets and be this guy with the lip ring do you think because it's like the same colors and everything I um i don't i don't know it's no the other guy like, i think was a lot younger yeah i was gonna say uh, looks younger yeah, yeah. Is 
This is good, good setup for later. Yeah. Because if not, that would have been like the most ridiculous, like the ridiculous turn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm on. I'm on the other guy's team now. I still think it's a little weak for being. It is like, kind of. I agree. You're my best friend. And now I'm gonna kill you. But sorry, he has a good argument, so. And that's like the second Black Panther to tell him that. Yeah. So he he's like. Later on, he's just pissed. It makes it, you know. It makes sense. There's justification. Could have been a little better. It's yeah. Maybe I hope they actually, show the underside of the royal town flyer. Have you ever seen what it looks like from the bottom? It no. looks like a, it looks like the Black Panther mask. Really? Yeah, it's awesome. Oh, dang. Which does the royal town flyer? Their ship. The Black okay, Panther I was ship. gonna say I knew there was a thing with it, and I I thought it was yeah. that, but I I couldn't remember. So I have a friend, he's in my small group uh, at church, and he is from South Africa. And he said, during this scene, he and his friends were going crazy. <laughs> and his family, they are going crazy because they are like, yo, that was our favorite song back home. I just think that's an awesome detail that yeah. they included the music from that country. It's not just like... Hey, here's Drake. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, why do I get the feeling that, you know, they probably don't respect uh, Western music all that much? <laughs> I don't respect Western music that much. Drake's overrated. Hot take. <laughs> My hot take. I don't think very many people agree with me. And I don't care. Anyway, that's enough about Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Best line in this movie. What are those? No, I think my favorite line is coming up pretty soon, though. Yeah. <laughs> Don't record that. Delete. delete the footage. Yeah. <laughs> the shoes look a little wonky there, too. Yeah. Sorry, Tyler. It's all good. That would be just <laughs> mind blowing. Could you imagine? Dude, I need those in. Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. Dead Silent. It's the I Dead Silent those. perk. <laughs> I used a permanent unlock on that. <laughs> the gold. so cool. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. It looks so much better. My one big disappointment is that I, with the MCU and what my predictions are after Endgame is that I don't think we're ever going to get to see a Robert, like a Iron, or a Tony Stark, Shuri mm. team up for like... No, but you might see an Ironheart. Uh, where she takes that mantle. Because she's strong. Well, the girl... The girl who plays, who is Ironheart, her name is, her nickname is Riri, Shuri. Williams, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> the cat just threw up. <laughs> the old pod cat. <laughs> that is hilarious. Our own, our own little Black Panther. <laughs> God, he ate a ton, too. For research purposes. No wonder he threw it up. <laughs> <laughs> Delete that footage! <laughs> I love it so much. Gonna buy my mixtape, man. <laughs> I'll, I'll, go, I'll go to your own sack lab. The other cat's coming to check it out. It's a little too digested, but if uh, if it was more in its original form, he'd eat it. Oh, he's looking at it. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Gross. 
<laughs> Let's just... talk about the movie. This is what these people are here to listen to. Sorry. Sorry. I don't understand this scene very much. Like how she is gets she like in. a bad gambler or something? I think she just kind of has an in here to get to underground people. Because she's a villain in the comics. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. So I just this is, scene is kind of weird. But yeah, I don't. I think it's the same thing with Baku. She's not going to be a villain. No. Not enough time in movies to do it. Yeah. Plus, also, like, if they go that route, it's what they did with Mordo and Doctor Str or gonna do with Mordo and Doctor Strange. I like Mordo. That's what they did with um, what's this? Jeff Bridges in the first Iron Man. Um, that was in one movie. Yeah. Ugh. Um, they got away with it in Iron Man because it's the first one. <laughs> they did it with Bucky, but then he came back. Like, it's a common thread in comics and movies. The friend becomes the villain. I think it'd be nice to just not really have to go through that again. <laughs> Thank you. Doing good over there, Brett. Man. I'm next. <laughs> I'm gonna throw up on, your, go to the on your floor. floor. <laughs> I keep eating these cookies, I might be there too. <laughs> the tile. Face. I'm just excited that we can finally get his name. Ross. Agent Ross! <laughs> Dude, I, was, I said Frost. You yep. did. You were close. <laughs> I just added on two letters. Or, yeah. One letter. I, I really like him. One off. I really like him. Depending on spelling. Yeah, yeah, he's good. Yeah, I thought... I thought um, he's way more interesting in this movie than he was in Civil War. Even though in they Civil gave him War... Way more in this one. Right. In yeah. Civil War, he's, he's very much a one-dimensional character. This is a great expansion off of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Stan. R.I.P., baby. Love you, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh... I sure think he'll... Ah. Yeah, I bet he's back in, in game. Him and Ross. Agent 13 are going to be like, Yo, what's going on? <laughs> Everybody disappeared. You got rid of Fury. Trying so to save the world. You got to bring someone back in. Yeah, but he's back in Spider-Man, so... Well, I know that. <laughs> and Spider-Man is back in Spider-Man. Who, who are we talking about is back in Spider-Man? Uh, Fury. Fury. Oh, yeah. Like how he just walks in like he owns the place. Probably does. <laughs> yeah, that wig. <laughs> I love that they make jokes about it before mm -hmm. this scene though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like how she throws it in a dude's face. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, just use it as I mean that proves her uh Ability as a warrior. I think one of my most laughable moments in all the MCU, though, is when Black Widow and I think it's either Avengers or Warner Soldier. Mm -hmm. Please don't make me listen to your music. <laughs> <laughs> they, she like whips her head back and hits a dude with her hair, and it makes a punching noise, and the dude falls backwards. <laughs> and her hair it maybe goes to her shoulders. Who is this? Black Widow. And I remember seeing that I saw it the first time in theaters, and I was yeah. just like, "No, <laughs> that's a Matrix move. <laughs> this is not the Matrix. It's, it's fine. fine." No, dude, headbutt that fool. <laughs> Whoosh! Don't. 
Oh. Hit him with your split ends. <laughs> Fragile. Fragile. <laughs> She was like caught though. Why did it take him so long to turn around? He's trying to play it cool. I love love this shot. That the one shot he does in this scene. Oh, here in a second. Yeah. And then my second favorite line in the movie. Well, I'll make it right. <laughs> I think we need more, um, <laughs> like, I really enjoy Andy Serkis as an actor when he's, give, like, first off, he does amazing mocap, but, like, this, this, him as Claw, like, he's, you can just see the joy in him, like, getting to actually act. Yeah. Without being covered in dots. Yeah. Being actually, like. Dude is great. He's, yeah. yeah he really is good. This song I'm fully really expecting too. him to have a part in Matt Reeves's Batman universe because he's best buds with him. I would so be down. Matt Hatter. I'd be down. Ooh. Any whatever he wants. Whatever yeah. they want. Long live and prosper. <laughs> 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 Dude loves his job. Yeah, he does. Yes, he does. And there's your car sponsor for the movie. Right. <laughs> Bless you, Luke. I'm allergic to cats. So. so did his suit just rip? Yeah. He is buck naked under that thing, man. Ooh. Also, a great part of this movie, um, Kendrick Lamar's soundtrack is fantastic. Yeah. That he made. Black Panther, the album. I'm trying to think, we don't get a ton of car chases in Marvel movies. Like in actual cars? Yeah. Because we get lots of scenes on freeways and on roads. I guess that's true. Uh, but like actual car chases. No. The only one I can kind of think of is in Civil War when Black Panther is chasing Captain America and Bucky. Uh, and they like, Man and the Wasp. That's right. Yep. Yeah. That's a good one, actually. I really enjoy that one. Technically, Iron Man 2, you, you don't really call it a car chase. But the like, racetrack. The racetrack. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Best part I think this movie. has a lot. This this is a good uh, kinetic car chase scene. Um, I don't know. I feel like sometimes when you're talking about superheroes, it can get just kind of like, oh, we're gonna fly above it as Falcon, or uh, you have unique things like in Ant Man where the cars can shrink and grow, and that's kind of cool. But in terms of just standard. I mean, this is a pretty standard car chase yeah. with really neat elements added to it. Mm -hmm. I don't. What I'm saying is, I don't get enough Fast and Furious in my Marvel movies, <laughs> and this satisfies that itch. <laughs> <laughs> when it has the purple built into it, it looks so good. So yeah. good. The trailer shot. 
and it's yeah. so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> How is she staying on top of this car? Uh, her her spear. No, her shoes. Her shoes are magnetic. Oh, attached to it. Yeah, I miss that. It like shows her feet, and they glow blue, and it goes. That's cool. <laughs> now, this is the only problem of this car chase. <laughs> Yeah! That's awesome. And then <laughs> that's just dumb. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, there's no... <laughs> I think it's hilarious. It's funny. Like, it's it's a good laugh the first time you see it. <laughs> but the spear in the but trunk. She, neither of them are superheroes, and they just walk away from that without a scratch. The Black Panther would walk away from that. It's fine, because he's got a suit. Sorry, I'm being nitpicky again, because... Yeah, jeez, Brett. I why could be, just watch. I mean, why I could just so sit back and watch this. I know. I'm a terrible person. Uh. Whoa. That would kill anybody. Nah. Not Claw, not claw. Well, he's not anybody. His arm, no. turned, <laughs> his arm turned into a protective suit. <laughs> and he did half of the Wakanda logo. And it covered his whole body. <laughs> Kill him. Shoot him. <laughs> I don't love when the eyes are open on the mask either. Yeah, they don't need to be. But it could be like a thing to make you look him in the eyes when he's going to kill you or something. Mm. I don't know. so much fun he did yeah, he, he really did he just, they were just like hey be claw have fun yep. all right Guy who voices Vegeta is gonna be at Planet Comic Con. Oh really? Nice. Classic. <laughs> hey. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I like their relationship a lot. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a clever little tie-in to some mythology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Into like a popular 
urban legend. Right. I don't want to call it an urban legend, but myth. So vibranium above adamantium, or no? Um, they're they're different. Adamantium is an indestructible, whereas vibranium would absorb. Gotcha. All the attacks, I guess. Like Captain America's shield is made of both. That's why it doesn't break, because the adamantium and the vibranium. It doesn't break because of adamantium, and it doesn't hurt him, yeah. and it always comes back because of the vibranium. Mm. But adamantium is Wolverine and yeah. X-Men. But they own that now, so yeah. when he gets his new shield, two medals. Get excited. When Bucky gets the shield, or Sam. Yeah. I hope it's or just in Endgame, they're going to be it's... like, here's a new shield with a new medal. Yeah. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> James McAvoy's gonna come wheeling up. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I got your shield. I got your shield. My name's Patricia. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> I'm in a wheelchair now. <laughs> Etc. <cetera. laughs> <laughs> He's doing a new shield, etc. And purple socks. <laughs> I'm a. I'm a fan of Kendrick Lamar now. So their operation, <laughs> their operation's getting bigger and bigger. Yeah. Drake's my new fave. <laughs> Is that not right? Rainbow Six Siege style. This is a cool shot. Yeah. Mm hmm. He got shot. His coffee was alright. <laughs> Claw. Woo! I don't know if you know that. Huh? His coffee was okay. It didn't get hit by the bullets. I love that, though. He just jumps on the grenade, you know. He can take it. Like, he, he can definitely take it, but that's. Like, I just think about that, how that's so mental. Like, mm. oh, I'm going to be fine. Yeah. Yeah, getting your brain to think that way yeah. would be insanely difficult. Oh, the ring. I remember in Civil War, they showed that ring, and I was like, okay. <laughs> Seems important. <laughs> That's okay, guys. Vibranium can take care of this, too. Dude, it can do anything. Does that bother you? It does. I wasn't going to say anything. It's just like in movies, aka Harry Potter, where if something's unexplainable, well, it's magic. Right. Just like if something like this happens in Wakanda, well, just use our technology. Like, it just does, e like, everything. literally everything, and I, 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 again, a little bit like how you, when you make your hero nearly indestructible, I don't, like, mm -hmm. he becomes less interesting, when you make... He's able to escape any problem. Right. With his tech. Right. If, but, if vibranium can do what it does, but they have very little of it, then it becomes interesting because how you how do you use yeah, it? Yeah, how do you? When you have an unlimited amount of it, it's just like ah, oh, it's all right. We'll just throw some vibranium at it. <laughs> okay, so here, this we kind of missed it, but that moment where they're getting getting T'Challa to bring someone into Wakanda was the the only moment I thought maybe they are gonna make her a villain. Mmm. Like, maybe she is going to be a part of it. Like, she's trying to get him to show Wakanda to the world because maybe she's trying to infiltrate it herself. Mm. And that's and part of my suspicion in that moment was from her comic book background. She's mm -hmm. a villain in the comics. So, but then, like, as you watch the movie, you don't 
It doesn't Obviously, play out it that way. It doesn't play out that way, mm -hmm. so. But do you see where, like, my train of thought was? Like, oh, man, she's really going to yeah, tear Wakanda down. But it's not. Because literally, you go on YouTube and watch that. He did do something. <laughs> yeah. He caught him. But he got away. You can explain that. Yeah. Sorry. That, yeah, you can't explain it right here. This that, is how you explain it. Yeah. <laughs> Killmonger had to have a reason to get people to believe in him. Yeah. I mean... The plot demands it. Vegeta... He jumps up in Wakanda. Ah, oh, poor dude. Just gonna fly the plane. What? That's weird. This is this this girl was the only thing like in this whole movie. I was just like, okay, like everything else. I feel like has a purpose. Mm -hmm. But then like he just shoots her, and I was like. I guess. <laughs> I think he Gee, actually nothing. fell when he was supposed to be running and they just kept it in the movie. <laughs> they just fit so yeah. well. <laughs> I think he, like, I don't think that was scripted. Not unscripted. That's how I aim my handball gun. Yeah. Hot tomatoes. Talking about it. Ow. That would hurt. That would hurt too. <laughs> How does he make those scars? Is it uh and That's when everybody went, Oh my gosh <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's like the ultimate sign of like when you get played, you're just like, uh oh, man. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's so frustrating that Claw's just dead then, because he's so good, and his. I Do mean, we? To be man. So I. I just. I, I, I haven't just seen. Claw. I haven't seen this movie in a while. Do we see Claw's body again? Yes. He takes it to Wakanda. That's right. Because okay. he has to get. That's right. Wasabi to be on his side. That's right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I was just gonna say because they didn't show him get like they didn't show him die there in that but, scene. And it is comic books. There. Nobody's ever dead in comics. Well, we're going to time travel in Endgame, so nothing matters. Who knows? Nothing leading up to that movie really matters anymore. Other than falling in love with those characters. But the only good thing about him being dead is that he can be a villain in Matt Reeves' Batman. <laughs> if they mo-cap him? Sorry, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. <laughs> That's, that's, a, that's a different discussion for a different day. He's going to be Alfred. <laughs> Dude, please. <laughs> Ooh. True story, though. Wasn't young... Young Zuri at the beginning. Was, yeah. yeah, played by his son. Forrest Whitaker's kid. Oh, really? That's really cool. I, I didn't know that. Dude looks exactly like him. Yeah, he, he like nailed the like lazy eye thing too. The rebellion. <laughs> My character was useless in Rogue One, <laughs> so I had to use. Lee. I had to use that voice here. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> I hadn't seen that he retweeted it or commented about it. Sterling K. Brown is so good. Yep. Yeah. 
He even kind of looks like Chadwick Boseman. Mm-hmm. Like an older version of him. Oh. Gosh, that suit is so dope. It's interesting. I think. Um, T'Challa still has a very uh, naive is not the right word, but this idea that you can be a king and not have to make hard choices. He has a very naive. Uh, no. Um, he has it like it's, he has like being king on like this pedestal, I think. Right. Like where I'm the king and it's it's all glory. Right. But he doesn't realize how difficult it's actually well, going to be. And for the most part, I think I, I don't know enough about the universe in the comics, but when you're a country that's completely removed from the rest of the world, often you don't have those different kinds of diplomatic issues. Obviously, you still have to deal with some of the stuff between tribes and like that's not easy. Yeah. But um, the fact that that surprised him as much as it did that his father would be willing to kill. I mean, it was his brother, but. Just a little gift. Just a little gift. He can, just with one line, just is like, oh man. Just, just one quick little line. Mm-hmm. Hey, auntie. Covered up the bullet hole. That's totally a fake claw. Ah, <laughs> oh, the arm blasters. Dun, 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 dun. Part of her so Ironheart cool. suit. Yeah? They'll just merge the two characters. Dude, I'd be down. Although, give Tony grip. Stark is not going to die. He's going to retire. Tony dying, man. No, dude, he's going to have a kid. He's going to retire to be with his kid. Why not just let him die, though? Just let him die. He's got to learn his lesson. Yeah. He's got to deal with all this stuff while being alive. Marvel has to actually kill someone. <laughs> it's going to be Cap. They can't kill one character. Sorry. Again, we've now we've gotten off into an in-game train. <laughs> train of thought. They killed Vision. He's not coming back. He was in, like, two movies. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> He's getting a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line. It is kind of ironic because they brought him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but certainly still fits. <laughs> Everybody Shout in the out. theaters was like, yeah. <laughs> I remember Dana, when that line came up, she was like, oh. and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Us Kansans love to be referenced more than anything. We're not just we a don't flyover get, state. We don't get much. No, we are a flyover state. We, we get, recognize that. We get Superman, and that's about it. <laughs> they, they know you in Wakanda, though. We have Superman, but the only thing people ever care about is Wizard of Oz. That's true. <laughs> They'll be like, oh, we're not in Kansas anymore. It's like, yep. <laughs> Good one. By the way, Superman's from Kansas, and he's like the nicest person in the world. Know what he has? Midwestern Kansas values. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> when people say they need more Supermen, like people like that, they're talking about Kansans. I think they're talking about Kryptonians. Nah, dude. Kryptonians were douches. Kryptonians literally destroyed their own planet. <laughs> he wasn't raised on Kry- he wasn't raised <laughs> on far Kry- from it. <laughs> Kansas, the world. I'm not saying people in general. Anyways, I do think it is interesting how um wow. That's how I healed you. That's how I do my math homework. That's how I right. create all these cool inventions. Like I, I don't want to take anything away from her but she does how good at creating things is she really right I don't like it does seem a little ridiculous she's gonna make a vibranium iron heart suit 
gonna be <laughs> double. Oh, it's all. Killmonger. I love when they go through his background and they're talking about like who he is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> They couldn't give my man T'Challa a brush. The dialogue in some of these in-between scenes, like, I'll grant that some of the dialogue in the action scenes, or when things are frantically moving, can kind of be hit or miss. But, like, these kinds of scenes, I think Coogler nails, and the script nails, because it really pushes the plot forward and the characters in different directions. Like It helps you understand what they're feeling yeah. without feeling out of place. Mm-hmm. Right. Hey, Maryland. This <laughs> cat trying to get out. Mm-hmm. So I can vomit again. I wonder if. Wait, is he? He's CIA, not mm-hmm. Shield. Yeah, he's CIA. Right. Okay. I was gonna ask if Killmonger and Ghost like ever did a mission with each other or anything. But Ghost oh. was Shield. Yeah, I think. Probably not. <laughs> I love that you call it a Vegeta suit because it's so true. This is whatever I. I wonder. I have no idea, like even who that is. That's just what everybody calls it. Vegeta is one of the dopest characters. I wonder if. So, Michael B. Jordan is a huge anime fan. He, he yeah, I saw so that. I He wonder, said he didn't, he's like, oh, I didn't even, like, think about that. That's awesome. I wish he would have, though. Yeah. Can I have another one? Thanks. <laughs> I got your back. Yes, you want one? Yes, please. Headbutt him. I love the music Uh here too. It's his theme, like being really slow. His His theme is the best part of the soundtrack, I think. I just, these two points of view, like, when they merge together, they're so perfect, because, and it's where the movie ends, but, like, how polar they are, or how binary they are in their thoughts, is it, that's just a good lesson, I think, for anyone. There's can, two ways to handle a situation. There's more than two ways to handle a right, situation. But, right, 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 right. Yes, yeah. I'm on the edge of my seat and I've seen this movie like eight times. doesn't prove anything about his father being murdered but it does it's also another one of those things like he's an operative who killed people he could have just picked it up off of somebody who killed. <laughs> yeah. like i know obviously they're not lying but like it, it's not i mean it certainly could have been that yeah mm-hmm. I'm 
we were Patrick in the waterfall again. I really enjoy this fight. <laughs> this is this is <laughs> this is the hardest really hitting fight in the movie. Mm -hmm. I love how isolated it is too. Yeah, there's not the spectacle mm -hmm. of even the even the like the scene in terms of like the first one is so bright and sunny and colorful, and now it's overcast and and dark dark. It's kind of like dust Very outside. Cold. Yeah. Everybody was excited. Now, now everyone's, everyone's like, oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Still got a little music in there, though. They gotta hit some part of their tradition. Yep, for sure. Riddler chilling there with his lip ring. <laughs> I love superhero movies. <laughs> We've locked him away. Locked him with a vibranium lock. Yeah. He's not getting away. I'm kind of surprised they don't have vibranium nanobots that would just put him to sleep. My soda pop is fizzing. Mm. Very loudly. <laughs> you hear it? I do hear it. Blink. I love this villain monologuing moment. Mm -hmm. What did he start doing? He, he starts, starts monologuing. monologuing. God, he's so intimidating. Wasabi's loving this. I know his so name I is... could kill you. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that's when he knew he messed up. <laughs> Screen turns gray. <laughs> and that's when T'Challa knew <laughs> he messed up. He effed up. I do think there's maybe an interesting, uh, an interesting. Oh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Topic um, something interesting you could do in a sequel if he, they're both together in the ascendant plane, where you talk about the idea of like the sins of the father, and you know, maybe Killmonger can come to understand reconcile that. You know, just because T'Challa's father killed his father does not mean that they have to be. Enemies. I think, I think he's gonna be kind of in an advisor role. Mm -hmm. Like it's gonna be him, his father, and some other former kings, and he's gonna have a lot different perspective, and it's gonna change. Um, like T'Challa is gonna be like, I don't know what to do. I love that thing. I love how yeah. tactical every cut Killmonger makes. Yeah. It is. Take out your leg, hit you in your core, take out your arm, your shield arm. Your shield arm. Yeah. I love it. Go for a quick strike when you're unshielded. Mm -hmm. And I bet a lot of that is overlooked like, yeah. by a general audience when they're watching. They're mm -hmm. not even thinking about that. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Bad. I do feel like Killmonger is smarter than this moment here, though, to throw him off the oh, waterfall. Oh, yeah, for sure. He, Come on, man. <laughs> have you not seen The Fugitive? No. Plot convenience, but he totally would have killed him. Oh, yeah. In reality, he would yeah. have just killed him. How so? I hate how Wakabi turns. I hate it. Yeah. Like, as a story point or character wise? Just like... the way they set it all up. Oh, okay. I just, like, I get it. And they... It just wasn't enough. Yeah, yeah. Like, this is your best friend. 
Yeah. Like, your best friend. Mm-hmm. And you turn on him like that. Like, I just... <laughs> Man. See, and there's, like, there's another one. Like, they can't do it with M'Baku and Nakia and Wasabi. It's like... How yeah. many people are going to be his friend right. or lover and then just be like, nah, see ya, bro. <laughs> I'm out. I love that Wasabi is catching on. His name is Wakabi. But I always <laughs> think of Wasabi when I say it. Did I say Wasabi? Yeah, you did. <laughs> Slowly but Nailed surely. it. Whoops. That's my next anthem character. Wasabi? <laughs> Wasabi. Sabi. But I'm going to spell it W apostrophe Sabi. <laughs> well, I mean, he won by <laughs> your trial. It's the problem Maybe. with your system. Maybe you ought to rethink your political system. <laughs> 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 Some dude shows up and kills your king, he just takes over your nation. Nokia phone. <laughs> You're just trying to change everyone's name. Yeah. Everyone's name. To what they sound like. <laughs> See, that's a bad plan, too. Taking it's... the herb to Mbaku? No. No. She's loyal to the throne no matter who sits on it. See, I think... Like, I get it. Like, that's a, probably their tradition. But. There's a good... Like, I think there's uh, better than being loyal to the throne if she had said something on the lines of, I'm loyal to Wakanda, yeah. no matter who rules it. Like, that's way more compelling... Than the throne itself. Right. Yeah. Because, yeah. again, you have an outsider sitting on your throne, and now you're loyal to that outsider, which, no. Yeah. That's not in the best interest of your nation. Right. Yeah. Right. Dude, Michael B. Jordan lived. Dude, on the her bench. hair is sweet. Yeah, it's dope. Lived, Dude, I love lived her on hair. The bench, yeah. the bench press for this movie. <laughs> His chest is massive. No body, no death. Nice. Not massive. About the date? Mm -hmm. That means that's crazy. It might film this year. No, like November. November through early twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. It would it would have to. Ooh, I'm really excited for this scene. When he like turns into a kid for a bit. Dude, even the kid version of Killmonger is good. <laughs> yeah, and that's and that's like you talked about earlier when he sees the ship, like he he knows of it. Like, right? Yeah, yeah. Because he this is runs like oh, I, I like know he knows what's going on. Something happened because his dad has told him. Mm -hmm. Also, really like how he doesn't go to the ancestral plane. He goes to the apartment he grew up in. Yeah, it's like his own. It's his own ancestral, ancestral plane. plane. I thought that was a really cool, really cool thing. Fourteen oh one. Is that See, significant but like number? The sky. Is like the ancestral plane. It is. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> probably. January fourth, two thousand one. <laughs> Somebody look up that date. Black Panther <laughs> stuff. <laughs> So, yeah. Does the ancestral plane, is it continuous in that, like, there's only one ancestral plane, but you can be in different parts of it, or does each individual have their own, have their own ancestral plane? Mm, That'll question. mean, uh... 1401 was... Okay, so from the late 1940s through most of the 50s, comic book publisher Timely Publications, as Marvel was then called, was headquartered in the Empire State Building. 
The sweet number was 1401. Whoa! That's awesome. I'm glad I told you to Google that. Well, I didn't tell you to Google it, but I said something. <laughs> you mentioned it. So wait. He gave him a key. So can like... Is the key the... The, yeah, tattoo? the tattoo? The tattoo? Okay. He's brushing his teeth and he's like, what the? <laughs> Dad, I got a cavity! No, you don't, son. Or he just, just grabbed it's interesting him by the lip that he, and tatted that, it on there. That he like, has that technology out here. I don't know how it works. It's probably vibranium based, so, you know. Yeah. Vibranium is <laughs> how he got it. It's how he got the. Yeah, makes sense. Oh. See that just Ooh, like I think end. I think it shows well he's abandoned because of what he did. He knew if, he couldn't go back and face the music. Sure. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But in this moment is he talking about being abandoned here out of Wakanda or in this ancestral plane versus the other ancestral plane? Maybe there's multiple layers, man. Maybe he's a ab he's abandoned because it, I don't know. I think of the ancestral plane as like like why that raises more questions than answers to me. Like why mm -hmm. is T'Challa's ancestral plane a field? Like right. what happened in that field to make that the impactful moment he goes back to? Right. Mm. You know, because Michael B. Jordan's is obviously when he found his dad dead in his apartment. Mm -hmm. So that's the moment he goes back to. He goes back to that place. So what is it about the field? Is that a valid question? Or I think it's a good question. No, I do think it's a good question. I, I just... Or, I mean, it could just be... Home? Yeah. Uh, probably. Like, that's his the, home is that's Wakanda. The, that's so the like, quick answer, right? Like, this mean, is a beautiful um, area. African plain with awesome tree... Um, that I like, and then for him, it's the whole, that is the best shot in the movie. Yeah, it's a great shot. Um, However, I do kind of wish that like, like when you and this oh, is the second best shot. The, the second best shot in the movie <laughs> <laughs> with the best part of the soundtrack. Mmm. Ah. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting really, I'm getting really hyped, man. Luke's getting super hyped. You guys can't see it, but. He's bouncing up and down. Dab, dab, dab. So violent. Do we? Yeah, I mean, do we really think all of the spies are going to agree that maybe enough of them will that it won't matter that there are some that don't? But yeah, I'm like I don't know. You think some of them would be like, you want me to what? Wait, it. <laughs> this guy's name isn't T'Challa. What? Ha Hold on. I missed something. Rewind. <laughs> Who's this Eric guy? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're laughing yeah. at <laughs> now. Also, why does Wasabi have such a like? What's <laughs> like you, dang it, Tyler! I did it. I did that on purpose. But like, why is he on this? Why is he all of a sudden a right hand man? Why is he on the small council? Come on now. Because <laughs> man, somebody's got to look after those rhinos. <laughs> Rhinos can't take care of themselves. It's a big job. Literally. Rhinos are pretty big. I'm not, that's what I'm saying. Off topic comment to you guys and listeners. Mm -hmm. I'm really glad I changed from jeans into these sweats. I just realized that, that I was very comfortable. Thanks. Wow.
I haven't been home yet today. <laughs> well. <laughs> She's a war dog. Send her weapons. <laughs> I mean, technically she was. Yeah, I was going to say. She could just fly that ship around. Oh, no, she wouldn't get very far. Well, none of the ships really do. That's a good point. <laughs> Touche. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I didn't even know Ross said that. Later. I didn't either. <laughs> Thank you, subtitles. Oh, shit. <laughs> Watch your mouth, Martin Freeman. I would imagine that Language. would be my reaction, too, though. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're some dude out in this. Dude, that that is awesome. Yeah, I yeah love that's their... really cool. They're, and they're actually a. I mean, look at how big their area, like their city goes on. Like, yeah. they've got a large population. They ain't no pushovers. <laughs> Clearly they have some technology. <laughs> I love this scene. We are vegetarians. That's my least favorite part of this scene, but I just love the way he carries himself. Yeah. Well, he goes from being this, you know, defeated um, opponent of T'Challa to... This is probably what he's like. Good Samaritan. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the guards are like oh my god <laughs> like he's doing this again yeah. oh my gosh he made this joke yesterday I imagine him Baku with Black Panther powers, and I, oh, dude, he's a scary human being. Yeah, he's huge. Holy cow! He starts throwing his weight around. He will tear some stuff mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say maybe he'll get him for end game. <laughs> that but would be all he, the Wakandan people get. He him burns for? all the the plants. Oh, that's right. There is none. They're gonna time travel though. It's all good. Oh, like, that's right. <laughs> nothing matters. They're gonna throw Mbaku into the quantum realm, <laughs> and he's just gonna like Spider Verse transport <laughs> into a little vortex, straight into the maybe plane another eat like no, five. No, 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 no. Another vibranium comet is gonna hit Wakanda, <laughs> and he's just gonna catch it and eat the whole thing. I don't say it's gonna hit him. <laughs> oh, there you go. He just absorbs the power. I have the power. Is that how snow works? What? I don't think that's how snow works. F freezing him? Yeah. Keeps him alive? Uh, it's snow mixed with vibranium. <laughs> it's Dude, in, it's I think in I think the scene when it shows him like in the snow is so ridiculous. Because the snow does not look like snow? Yeah. Yeah. And like his face, like, it just looks so contorted. It's like super <laughs> goofy looking. <laughs> Yeah. I want them to go more into Boston in the sequel. I think that'd be really cool. And just like their gods. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so funny. Also, how do they make that flour into a liquid? They only ever put the flour in a mixing bowl. Maybe it's a, <laughs> maybe it's a juicy flour. Maybe they put some snow in there. <laughs> just add water. Just add vibranium. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> It looks like styrofoam. It looks like white sand. Like a white sand beach in Jamaica or something. They had some red sand. They just had the... Yeah, it's like this, dirt. They shot this first and then they dyed it Probably. red. Probably. Where they just went to those like color sand places and bought a bunch yeah. of the white sand. Dude, this scene. Yeah, this, this scene. It's like heart-wrenching. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's good. <laughs> nah, fam. It's interesting that it's a different color color scheme, mm -hmm. and it's brighter, which it's is like weird. a yeah. This feels like dawn almost. 
Well, it's the dawn of him understanding what it's going to take to be the Black Panther. Right. But see, that's the same thing that Killmonger's arguing. Choose your people. Don't choose Wakanda, choose your people. Mm -hmm. And T'Challa's like, no, I'm choosing Wakanda. <laughs> that's exactly what his dad did. I mean, he went about it a very different way. Different it's way, a different yeah, situation, right. but... <laughs> I want to go back here too in the sequel. Yeah. yeah. I want to see a little bit more of their area. Looks like he's wearing a towel. <laughs> he really does. He might be. I mean, snow. Probably melted. Probably wet. All of her designs. Does she not have any assistants who make things? Heck no, dude. There's nobody else ever in that lab. She, True. She's a smart girl. I'm not. Ah. Just saying, maybe she could. She could learn a little humility. <laughs> she's a teenager, though. That's true. That's a good point. <laughs> Teenagers don't have humility. I mean, some of them do, but ones like that probably wouldn't. <laughs> With that much smarts and ability to create whatever they want. Mm -hmm. And when you fight for the fate of Wakanda, I will see that day beside you. This is a good moment. <laughs> They're all like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> the apprehensive ally. Yep. So are then the by, like, law, then, are the fights for to be king, like, a, to the death and... It's to the death or submission. Yeah. Did, I can't remember. Did he not submit? He submits. He did still submit. Well, well T'Challa has the opportunity to kill him and gives him a chance to submit instead. Okay. He's like, your people need you. Yeah, like, you need to survive. That's right, that's right. They do a good job with the sound editing to making him sound big. Yeah. yeah. Thud. Thud. Oh. Yeah. Right. Uh. Right. Uh. Those little dragonfly ships are dope. Those are aw yeah. The vehicle designs for Wakanda are fantastic. Yeah. That lift looks bad, though. Yeah. <laughs> Wasabi. What's up, beef? Is 
that's the same locations as the Sanctum Sanctorums in Doctor Strange. Right. Yeah, they are. <laughs> what the? I like how he still has the same weapons from the waterfall fight. Mm hmm. I still don't know how he took that ship. Right. <laughs> With a hand cannon spear. Or through a rock. I always think when I see the silver on the forearms of his suit that they're like throwing knives. Like, like but they're not. They're just design choice. Maybe here's what happened. He needed to build up that kinetic energy in his suit. So he just jumped off a cliff repeatedly or to he build just... it up. And then he like tossed the rock up and did like a punched it. And it just went <laughs> One of my favorite. <laughs> in the jaka. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> All that jump shit is over. <laughs> I'm king now. <laughs> oh, did you see it? See the, the plane? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the town fire? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks like a Black Panther mask. In Jadaka! What's up? <laughs> wasabi. Does he call him Wasabi? He calls him Wakabi. Oh, okay. I think it'd be hilarious. He tells, he he tells Wakabi to kill <laughs> T'Challa. <laughs> like, yeah, dude. Are people Bumping. again? Like, I know we just, we have to have a big fight scene here, but is literally everyone, like, all of a sudden okay with this for some They're reason? They're just, like, all on board with Killmonger. Yeah. I, I... In most, I don't know. I just look at the state of where we're at. <laughs> That's oh, awesome. He looks so good. That suit looks so much better than the Black Panther suit. Mm -hmm. I freaking love it. I love the spots on it. Yeah. In the mouth. The I think fangs. it looks better by design, but CG wise, it doesn't look as good. Mm. Does that make sense? I like. I think. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I think the. I don't know why, but <laughs> that worked out. Ooh. And a gone. Got the spear. Felicia. See, that's how he could have taken one. Just threw a rock. <laughs> Precision though. He he drills it right where he needs to. Should play QB. Tell he'd be a good QB. He would. He'd be a good whatever he wanted to be. See, like, they have this giant fight. Nobody kills anyone. Because <laughs> it's just vibranium. <laughs> I, I don't know. <laughs> Rhino time, baby. Uh, hey, he... those rhinos are uh, bred with vibranium. <laughs> Did he have to climb up on the rock, though? Absolutely. And how did they... Did they just bust through... Like, how did they already have their armor on? <laughs> there's so many questions about the freaking rhinos. <coughs> and there's no one riding them. Now there is. Well, yeah, now they're... They have their saddles. They're ready to roll. Ooh. <laughs> Interesting choice there. <laughs> I can think of, like, ten other things I would have rather had in that moment than... Than rhinos. Giant CG rhinos. Yeah. He's just like riding up and like, what? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. We're I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> like, I don't think he realizes that he can take hits and nothing will happen. Martin Freeman takes, or is like such a good... I don't know what I'm doing kind of character. Yeah. Like he plays that character really well. Oh no. Slit her throat and there was no blood. Yeah. We're only nitpicking for fun. We're not nitpicking because <laughs> we don't like the movie. We do love this movie. I love this movie. <laughs> this is maybe the worst movie. I mean, I didn't say that. This is my seventh watch of this movie. I love this movie. I watch it. I saw it three I, times in theaters. I think I saw it four times in theaters. I love it so much. It's one of the few movies that I've actually 
seen four times. So it's this one, Wonder Woman. <laughs> I just get blown back by the exhaust. Um, Black Panther, Wonder Woman, and Force Awakens. I just saw four times. Wow. Uh, the most I've ever seen a movie in theaters is three. Last Jedi? No. Oh. Uh, Avatar. Oh, really? Uh-huh. He doesn't even kill the rhinos. That's nice of him. How have they not figured this out yet? At least they, like, they're like, we gotta get the necklace off of him. That's true. But, like, the kinetic energy thing... <laughs> come with... Oof. Shuri would be, like, the one that would know how to beat that. And, I mean, she almost does. Yeah. I'm trying to think, does her... Do her arm blasters not do, like... They do the same thing the train does, too. The train they, dampeners, Yeah, yeah, dampeners. Too. Yeah, yeah, they dampen. That's right. Because, you know, in her mind, she's not leaving Wakanda. So she needs things to combat vibranium right. in case of, like, an uprising. Mm -hmm. So that's why her weapons are designed that way. Yeah, that's pretty At cool. least that's how I understood it when I watched it. I like it. I approve. This is a... I like that... He shot. just gets knocked out. I think that shot's just... dope. I think it's really cool that they put a basically put a camera on a a dummy body and threw it across the field. Mm, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're putting it in. Launch like, it. <laughs> I love that. I think it's awesome. Oh, oh his mask. His helmet is so legit. With the gold eyes. Yeah. See. Yeah. It's like yep. the dampeners. Just here in about fifteen. Oh, but he's still getting. He's still absorbing energy. Oh, no, he's, no, he's, he's not. not. No, he's not. It's the suit changing it's, it's phases. The, yeah, a bunch. yeah, phasing. That's right. We're about to get that in about ten minutes, where you see it on the dampener. Yeah. The train dampeners as well. Then you got these guys who they're hitting a tree with sticks. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna chop down this tree with a tree. <laughs> you don't mess with family. Yeet. I think the only Yeet. <laughs> so so if we're nitpicking here this for, the, good too. for the sake of nitpicking, if I if you were to make if I were to make this third act better, ouch, because I think it's excellent the way it is, but if I were to make it better, I would severely reduce the length of that battle outside, um, I and make the length it of this one, and well, eh, I don't maybe. I just think this scene looks kind of wonky. It, this one absolutely does. But, like, the problem I have with the outside scene is that, like, there, again, like you were saying, there's no point. Like, each yeah. side is just hitting the yeah. other person's leader, but they know that they're not going to break through the suit, right? Like, I don't know. Yeah, you're right. So I think if you reduce that and you can make this scene a little more kinetic and impactful. See, it's phasing. Again. Yeah. Oh, I really love this scene when they like they have to stand across from each other. I get some like hardcore Star Wars vibes from this. Mhm. Mm mm. No, you don't. Yeah, you've already proven that. Yeah, just, <laughs> you just need him to not have one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like the idea of a Wakandan guy growing up in America. Yeah. Like, I think that's really cool. Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it, it shows in the way of, like, his mannerisms and stuff. Yeah. How cool would it be to get to fly a ship with no repercussions? <laughs> Wait, what? Sorry? He fly gets to a ship fly like a this. ship with no repercussions. Well, I mean, other than that, but uh -uh. it has nothing to do with him flying the ship. It has mm -hmm. everything to do with what's going on outside. Have you ever seen the movie Surrogates with Bruce Willis? No. It's not very good. And by not very good, I mean it's not good at all. Um, I kind of expected that answer when you said Bruce Willis. It's kind of like Gamer. Actually, maybe I'm thinking of Gamer. 
I have seen Gamer. Gamer's dope. No, it's surrogates. It's like people get thrown into robotic avatars and stuff. Ready to play what? No. <laughs> but the army is just the robots, and they if they get shot... They just get a new robot? They get their consciousness put in a different robot, and they go back out there. Kind of like IOI and Ready Player One? Yeah. <laughs> they get a new avatar? Man, these guys are really sneaky. Look at how they stuck up on him. No one turned around. I'm in Sorry. <gasps> movies, uh, sometimes movie fight scenes, they're just... Like, they look good, and then when you stop to analyze them, yeah. you're like, oh, yeah. not logical. That's That hit when he hits him in the chest, like ribcage, is so weak. He's just like, <laughs> ah, gotcha. I thought those vibranium windows could hold against anything. They should be <laughs> absorbing those shots. Exactly. Seems like an oversight on Shuri's part. Get over here! <laughs> <laughs> Yeet! Oh, that's cool. They look like an interceptor. From Anthem. Like the back of it? Yeah. yeah. The little, little hornet wings that they get. <laughs> She's like talking him through all this mm -hmm. while fighting. While fighting. <clears throat> that one kind of looks like a mask, too. on a dime. <laughs> Maybe we could learn something from that right like, now. Peace. I'm out. <laughs> Next bad guy. Yeah, I'm gonna go hit somebody else now. See you later. <laughs> Let me know when I can stop punching people. <laughs> See, there, there she, she says. says yeah, yeah. yeah. That fits. And that, Yeah, it's more compelling. You're like, yeah. I believe that. Yep. Spiritual African music flying. I didn't see those tights when she picked up the suit. Oh, yeah. She wearing them already? Yeah. Oh, maybe. I don't know. They match the suit perfectly, though. How long after this is... Uh... In in, right, in no, War? Infinity War. When everybody's happy with each other? Yeah, I was going to say. It's like, about two years. Two years? This is, I think it's supposed to be a week or so after Civil War. Civil War. War. And that was two years. Don't think before so. Before Infinity War. Oof. Calculated. Very calculated. His mask. Good move. <laughs> yeah, oh. A lot could be learned from you, my man. I will say, like, I, I like this moment and the next moment that they have together, but it doesn't f quite feel... It's, it feels like a big character turn for Eric. Mm -hmm. Accepting... The, he's not one who accepts defeat. I, th I found it interesting. I saw this on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Black Panther is the only Avenger or hero or something that will just sit on a mountaintop <laughs> and listen to the villain yeah. and learn. And try and understand you. Try and understand yeah. what they're, where they're coming from. And I was like... Dang, yeah, he's right. <laughs> did that with Zemo and did that with Killmonger. Back to what you're saying, though, I think 
Um, you know, like you said, you don't think he would just accept defeat. Like you see, you feel it. It's a character turn. But I think you see it in a lot of movies where like a warrior is bested, and he knows it, and he accepts sure. that he was bested, mm-hmm. as, as, like as out of respect for competition. It's kind of like when you see. Like MMA fighters, yeah. When they get beat, they they accept it, and they're usually like, "Yeah, you know, you got me. You you were the yeah. better man that day." And that's I, a good point. That's kind of how I think of this. Like he's like, "Yeah, I I lost. Somebody finally got me." Yeah. Like it leads to my two some two of my favorite moments in the movie, which was the his lines just before this, and then his lines after his lines right here. Yeah. His line after is like. Ugh. Gut punch. Yeah. Absolute gut punch. I love how he still wants to save him. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So There's we can, redemption and so we can repurpose everyone. you like we did Bucky. <laughs> How hyped do you think he was when he read that line in the script and was like, Oh my oh, god. Oh yeah. Here's here's speculation. <laughs> what if it wasn't in the script? And he just said that, and everybody at Sones is like, Oh <laughs> Cooler's oh like, god. yo, we gotta shoot that again because I ruined the scene, because I just yelled. He went, yeah. <laughs> No, Ooh, I bet music. it's I bet it's during the round table read of the script. And he just throws that in there and everyone just like Everybody stops for a second, like, yo. I'm I'm so down for whatever Michael B. Jordan wants to play next. Yeah. Just Just everything. Whatever he wants to do. And Coogler's next movie. Yeah. Besides Black Panther 2. I'm pretty sure he's going to direct it. He should. This was Coogler's first, like, huge budget movie. Yeah. Like, Creed had a big... He, he big, a bigger Creed, budget yeah. than Fruitvale. Yeah. But this movie was, like, yeah. massive. But, yeah, like, I wanted to see more of this. Graffiti's still a problem, apparently. <laughs> no, I think it's a social it's commentary. They embrace it. Yeah. Right? Like, Expressionism. Yeah. Now you're going to infiltrate Wakanda's walls. Down from the inside. <laughs> hey yo, yeah boy. Can you feel the love tonight? <laughs> Do you guys know the Pe- Lupita is like in her thirties? Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. I didn't know that because she really didn't burst onto the scene until really recently. Mm-hmm. It feels like last like two years. I feel like the first thing I saw her in was Force Awakens. That was like our first like big yeah. blockbuster movie. I and think. then she was in Jungle Book, this, Us. Yeah, she's yeah. been Us. She's been in a lot of stuff since. Yeah. But yeah, she's like in her thirties. She's, she's been at it for a long time. Uh here we go. They got a real basket now, though. It's good. So is this kid Wakanda? Ooh, ooh, give it to him. No, I think these are... Travel. That's a travel. (laughs) For real. You took three steps. That's garbage. They've been watching NBA. It's fine. They've been watching James Harden. (laughs) (laughs) Teenager, man. She's like, yo, that is deep. We didn't need that. <laughs> I'm trying to go to Coachella. <laughs> Not anymore. And that one. Sad. 
Nice. Got that base. Who got his spaceship? Did Eric ever have a son? No. Oh, okay. This is just like the kid who's inspired by the guy. Yeah. yeah. What, what is, is a Wakanda? Wakanda? <laughs> I am the Black Panther. Ugh. Gonna win Great. an Oscar. Yes. Gonna win multiple Oscars. No, I'm talking about the song. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I think would be really cool? Just as like, don't, like their side Oscar kind of things. Mm -hmm. I think they should have one for credit sequences. Oh. Because people like just work on that. And those have become a pretty big thing now. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'd be cool. Put it in the Fanboy Awards for next year. Yeah, I, let's do it. Sure. We'll be the first to truly recognize. Let's also do best stunts. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, best stunt team. Absolutely. That needs to be an Oscar. Uh, well, Straight up. I think they're... I don't know if it's an Oscar. It got overlooked uh, again. They said no. There are... Uh, what was just aired... Golden Globes? The, the SAG. SAG. The SAG, yeah. SAG has a... Screen Actors Guild, in case you don't know what that yeah, is. Yeah, SAG has a stunt stunt team. Hopefully it went to Mission Impossible. It did not. Did what? Impossible. Who did it go to? This? Yeah. I would disagree with that. I would disagree with that, too. <laughs> wow. Uh, literally everything in Mission Impossible is real. Look, look Tom Cruise jumped out of a like, plane at 40,000 feet up in the air. Even the cameraman had to be a stunt guy. <laughs> He's like, man, Tom. <laughs> the, the, the stunt guy in that scene wasn't was the cameraman, not Tom Cruise. <laughs> right. Anyway, Black Panther's great. Now, there's an, there's the rhino. Man, Looks I'm... better there than it does in the movies. <laughs> Any uh, final thoughts on Black Panther? We talked a lot about what we think we'd like for a sequel during the movie. Um. I wish, I wish I knew more, but I'm kind of also glad I don't. But I'm really curious about like what they'll do with villains, because they went through the main one already. Yeah. His main villain is Claw. Right. And Killmonger's kind of like an anti-hero. Honestly, though, like if they did end up bringing Claw back somehow, I hope they f go full on with him. Mm-hmm. Like Claw is such a corny villain. I hope they just go to the max with it yeah but he did he's not coming is back. this is there two post credit scenes for this one yes oh yeah i remember this it's it's the bucky yeah white wolf so thing. what would i like to see in a sequel i don't know who the villain would be per se i i'm kind of with you on that one mm -hmm. um, oh we're assuming this taste is going to take place post end game yeah it could be nakia they really wanted it to be, and they've set it up for her to take down Wakanda from the inside. I bet, I'm pretty sure there's a character that is a secret brother of T'Challa. I bet it's something like that. You don't need more family relations. That wouldn't surprise me, though. Yeah, I hope. I hope. I just want the majority of it to be in Wakanda. I want to see. Yeah. I want to experience that world. More. What it, you know? What could be interesting if um, you know, instead of it being like a violent overthrow, what if this integration with the real world sets up more of like a, hey, we need like a proper democracy republic, and the new president says or whatever says no more black panther i know like, who the villain's gonna be namor oh oh yes yes, yes. good call 
Yeah. Battle sense. of the Kings. Mm. Good call. Good call, my young Padawan. <laughs> I looked up villains and I was looking through the list and then I saw Namor and I was like, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. They've I'm already, even, they've even already talked film. about it. Oh, like, really? Namor has been talked about a lot after this movie came <clears throat> out. So, I could see it. I could see them doing that and I'd, I'd be okay with it. Um, the VFX team for Aquaman is the same as Infinity War. So... Sure, they would not mind working for Marvel or DC again. Oh no, they've got the skills to do whatever they need to. This is how we did it in Aquaman, and I'm sure Marvel would listen. They'd be like, "Okay, that's it's copycat world." I'm fine with it. Yeah, I'm cool with it. As long as you make a good movie. And that, like, they did it on Aquaman, which means they can make it better for Namor, which means they can make it better, better for Aquaman, Aquaman 2, too, which right. means they can make it better for the actual Namor movie. Yep. You'll just constantly get it looking better, yep. which is awesome. Well, that's that's the great thing about this realm of, of entertainment, mm -hmm. is that, like, fans see it as a war, but these companies benefit from each other. They help yeah. each other a lot behind the scenes. Like I love when you when you see a DC movie or a Marvel movie come out and Jeff Johns and Kevin Feige are talking about how they loved each other's movies. Like, yeah. What's the I, saying I about so boats? Awesome. Rising oh, rising waters rising, raises all ships. Rising yeah. tides raises That's all it, ships. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. You 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 know, individual ships. I don't know why I'm sticking with the metaphor. Individual companies can make bad decisions based on competition, too. I think Justice mm -hmm. League is a good example of that. Like, mm -hmm. DC rushed into Justice League because of where Marvel's position was. They rushed into it, and they rushed it out also. <laughs> right. Um, but overall, I think going into 20... What are we in? 2019, 2019 already. They've learned a lot from that. They've learned a lot from that, and they've learned a lot from... They've still learned a lot from Marvel, and I think they're in a good place with what they're positioning in DC specifically and what they're, and what they're saying with their, with their solo films, yeah. their solo so, character films. So, you know, something that um, happens a lot in, in football per se, uh, coaches will meet with each other. Mm -hmm. They'll meet with each other and they'll talk about what works for them. And like, if one team is taking on an offense that's similar to another, they'll meet with those coaches and they'll learn from each other. Yeah. It would not surprise me one bit if 30 years from now when this is a documentary about how these movies were being made that they probably talk to each other. They probably work together to get these movies out. Yeah. Maybe not in the way that it's not like super direct, but I'm sure they talk. Yeah. I'm sure Johns and Feige have sat at a table together and said, hey, man, I... I think you should do this. I, th I think this will work for you. And a lot of people don't realize that Johns and Feige are actually friends. Yeah. They're... They were both interns under Richard Donner on yeah. Superman the movie together. Yep. Like, they're good friends. Yeah. They learned a lot. And, you know, when Feige's probably, or Johns, are, they're at a crossroads with a decision, they probably talk to each other about it. Like, look, you know, I we're stuck between these two things. What do you think? Like, well, you know, can you give yeah. me any guidance? And I think it's great. Sorry, we went on a long tangent about how they help each other, but... That's a good tangent. Yeah. yeah. I think we need more of that. Yeah, we should probably talk about that more, so people who are just tro always got a troll about the DC-Marvel wars can just get it through their thick skulls that that's not a thing, that's just a thing that... We'll Big make that, boys, we'll make that an, an episode here coming up. Our I was, I was good... guilty of it two oh, years, three years ago. Absolutely, sure. and then I, I was just like, God, this is stupid. Yeah. And then I, it, and helps, I it helps a, me like both stuff more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, it, I told myself, like, I don't have to like something. Yeah. You don't have to like something, and you also don't have to dislike something. Right. Right? So... And that's just literally how I am. And you can absolutely have preferences, too. Like, it, within the same movie, mm -hmm. I will like it and dislike it. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. The prime example being Batman v Superman, God <laughs> of Justice. I'm like, I watch it, and I'm like, this is great. I think about it, and I'm like, man. <laughs> this could have been so much better. Yeah. Like, what the heck? Why is Superman so grumpy? Why is Batman killing people? But I watch it, and I'm like. <gasps> but that warehouse scene, though. Ooh. <laughs> that warehouse scene, though. Ooh. And, like, this, like, the same stuff happens with, like, uh, like, 
Like I think about like like Thor Ragnarok is an example. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> like I love that movie. But then like I do think about like the humor in that movie. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It goes pretty crazy sometimes with it, and I totally get why people don't like it. I love that movie though. Anyways, <laughs> that's my stomach. Did you guys hear that? I, I sure did. Hear it. <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for listening to this month's commentary. Yeah. yeah. We'll be back in March with something special. <gasps> yes. Well, they're only going to be once a month, so hopefully every month is special. Yeah, but it's always special. I like doing these. Me too. Even though my mouth feels like it's been punched repeatedly for next three time, hours. Well, we next time, don't real. go to the dentist right before we record. Well, I didn't know it was going to be that bad. I thought they were only working on one. You should just life lesson to everyone out there. Brush your teeth more. I brush my teeth <laughs> two, sometimes three times a day. Dang it! He's got soft, yeah, soft. I have really animal. soft uh, teeth. We're all unique. Figure out what you need to do to take care of your body. There you go. <gasps> also, we should I figure guess. out which commentary we're doing next. We do know what we're doing. We next. do know what we're doing next, and it's super special and secret. And don't tell anyone right now because we're still on air. Okay. Sorry. We gotta make it through this last post credit scene, though. I know. We've got. We've, oh! <gasps> Hello, little children. What are you staring at? I wonder how many times they had to film this Ooh. because they all kept busting out laughing. <laughs> Did we feel like. Uh, I don't know. I guess. Was, it, was this a worthwhile it's post credit Jesus! scene? No. <laughs> I didn't think so. I thought I thought it was cool, but I didn't really feel like it impacted it very much. I didn't. Yeah. We I was just kind of like, oh, cool. He must have been around when they were filming it, and they were like, hey, you want to do this real quick? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I bet he was around while they were filming Infinity War. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because they filmed it in here. Yeah. <laughs> but they were just like, real quick! Throw it in. White Wolf. Great film. Good. Really good movie. I love it. And then, mm -hmm. something will happen. He'll, well, I don't know. I don't want to spoil it, I guess. In case somebody hasn't seen Infinity War. You never know. If you haven't, go watch it. Actually, you really don't need to watch it. <laughs> yeah, you should watch it. It's good. You should definitely watch it. You should it. definitely you should watch it. Because the first 20 minutes of Endgame, will, you'll need that for that part. Once Endgame starts to happen, though, it's will kind of become we'll see yeah sideways who knows? <laughs> who knows? all that all that like is. part one kind of stuff aside i think infinity war is just so fun to watch that's like a two and a half hour action scene yeah that movie does not stop it's no, just like no. what's going on oh my god <laughs> this is insane it's a movie where you watch and you're like oh 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 <laughs> oh 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 <laughs> By the end, you're like, uh, what just happened? It's been two and a half hours. I feel like I've been here 30 minutes. It goes by super fast. Yeah. I remember watching it with my brother and sister. We started at like 9 o'clock, and then it ends, and they're like, it's almost midnight. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> the, the movie's nuts. Yep. Dope. Yep. Thanks for accent. listening. I almost said watching. I guess some people technically could watch this on YouTube. Yeah. You'll just be staring at a Black Panther <laughs> picture the whole time. A poster. Yeah, thanks for listening, everybody. If you are watching on YouTube and you don't know about our YouTube, um, we go live on Monday nights at 8 o'clock Central Time. It's 7 or 10 or 11, depending on where you live. For the What the Fanboy Show. That's right. Where we break down a week's worth of news. And what all the things we've watched. And yeah. sometimes we review, we speculate, we do tons of dumb, dumb crap. <laughs> we great. should do more dumb crap, I think. I concur. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the dumb crap. <laughs> but yeah, you should uh, check this out. Um, if you're more also, of a podcast kind yeah. of person... We put it on iTunes, and it's on SoundCloud. It goes to Google Play and most of those podcast apps. So check us out on there. You just have to search What the Fanboy, and you can take us on the go. You can listen to us in the car. Yeah. So that's awesome. Anyway, Until I'm Luke. Time. That's Tyler. That's Brett. 
What up, what up? We'll see you. We'll see bye, you bye. guys next time. Bye. 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 Bye.